Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you are new around here, thank you so much for joining us. My name is Ashley. I am a boutique owner, a mom of five, and a wife. And around here, I like to talk about all things motherhood, fashion, um, business, and community. So if you are not new around here, Thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you guys spending any of your precious time with me. Today we are going to talk about how to make your morning routine work for you. Um, and this is something that I am constantly trying to improve upon. I am not naturally a morning person. I am a night owl. I used to joke that my brain didn't even fully wake up until four or five o'clock in the evening. Um, so this has been a constant uh, evolution and I've come up with some things that really work for me and if you are like me and you have a hard time getting up in the morning and making your mornings work for you um, I hope some of these tips might be helpful so why a morning routine well when you are not naturally a morning person uh, what tends to happen if you don't have a plan or an intention for your morning is that you wake up and an hour goes by or two hours go by and you've accomplished absolutely nothing. It takes a really long time for us to kind of get going. Um, obviously that's different if you have a work schedule where you ha kind of have to get up and, and going. Um, but since I am a business owner and a stay at home mom, um, I do have that freedom to lounge around and be slothful early in the morning and that doesn't necessarily set the rest of my day up for success um you know when the when my kids are in school if i'm not really like getting going until 10 11 o'clock that's really cutting into the amount of work time that i have before my kids get home and then when my kids get home i really want to be focused on them not on work but i do still have work to do uh if i haven't gotten my day going you know what i mean and I think that that applies even if you're not working from home. Um, if you're a stay-at-home mom, you still have responsibilities and things that you have to do uh, before your, your kiddos get home. Um, and even if you're a homeschooling mom, I mean, there's just so many different um, situations where having a morning routine can be beneficial to you. So I want to interrupt this real quick before we dive too deep into things and I want to speak to the ladies who are watching this who have babies or little kiddos at home who are not sleeping through the night. Um, ignore this video. <laughs> um, that's probably not what you were expecting me to say, but it's something that I wish somebody had said to me when my kids were young and not sleeping through the night. Um, right now, your focus just needs to be on sleeping when you can and surviving and keeping you and those babies alive. Come back in a year or two <laughs> if your kids are anything like mine. None of my kids slept through the night until they were two years old. I've got five. That's a lot of not sleeping um, and I felt a lot of pressure to get up and you know try to get up before them and do these things that I heard other successful moms talking about like doing a Bible study in the morning or taking a shower before the kids woke up but the problem is that my kids were ne the never asleep they were always awake um, so that really left me feeling very defeated so I am giving you permission big sis let me give you some wisdom come back in a year or two, okay? So even if, moving on now, even if your kids are um, sleeping through the night and you don't have babies anymore, if you're a mom, your life can be full of unexpected distractions. So even the best laid plans don't always work out. Most of the time they don't work out. Um, and weeks change. One week can look very different than the next week. I find that a morning routine that I set for myself one week might not make sense the next week. Next week, It might not work for me. It might not benefit me the way that it did last week. We go through cycles. You know, if you're getting closer to that time of the month, you might really need more sleep. And getting up at 5 a.m. to go to the gym might not be beneficial to you. Maybe what you really need this week is more sleep, and that's okay. Maybe what you really need this week is just to get up and have quiet time and do nothing and that's okay. So be flexible. You know, you don't need to stick to the same routine every day, all week in order for it to count. Don't be a perfectionist about this. Stay flexible. It'll be better in the long run, trust me. So what I do is in, on Sundays, um, I 
sit down and I look at my week, I try to do a meal, a rough meal plan, figure out if we have appointments or rehearsals or practices this week and who needs to be doing what. And while I'm looking at that week and kind of planning things out, I'm planning my work duties, my household duties, um, I'm also taking a look at the morning and taking a, a look at how much time am I going to give myself in the morning? Am I willing to get up earlier so that I can do more with my morning routine? Or do I need to prioritize rest and sleep this week? Um, and that, therefore, I'm not going to have perfect world when I'm really on my game and my energy is up and I'm feeling good. My morning routine takes two hours. And I think it's really important here to look at the things that you want to do and decide how much time each of those is going to take and then add them all up together because if you're anything like me you're like oh I want to do this and I want to do that and I saw that on Pinterest and that was a good idea and this mom did this on IG stories and that was a good idea and before you know it you've got a four hour long morning routine and that is just not realistic for anybody I don't know anybody who's got a four hours for the morning routine um, but I when when things are going really well I will get up at 5 a.m. and give myself two hours okay so I get up I make myself a cup of coffee I throw in a load of laundry and then I spend like 20 minutes reading my Bible or or listening to um, a sermon or a motivational speech just something to get my mindset in a good place to start the day that's really important to me um, then I will get dressed in my workout clothes and either go for a run or go to the gym. And I usually will work out anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour, depending on what kind of workout I'm doing that day. And then I'll come home and get dressed, take a shower, you know, take a shower, get dressed, and then I transition into getting my kids ready. And if I wake up at 5 a.m., then I've got enough time to do that. And while I really enjoy those weeks, is that what my morning routine looks like every week or even most weeks? No, no way. Some weeks I decide to sleep in. Some weeks I decide that I don't have the energy to work out every single day. Some weeks my kids' schedules are more busy and I need more time than usual to help them get out the door earlier than usual. And then some weeks my husband's out of town. So on the weeks when things are a little bit different, a little bit more chaotic, a little bit more intense, I'm not doing that two hour morning routine. I'm doing a shortened version of that. If I only have 30 minutes, it's gonna be coffee, Bible, dry shampoo. If I've got an hour, I might throw in a two hour run and plan to shower later on in the day. If I've got an hour and a half, I might do my coffee, listen to a motivational podcast while I go on a run, then come home and take a shower and then get the kids ready for bed. So it changes every week. Sometimes the morning routine doesn't look the same throughout the week. I try to keep it consistent because I think, I try to keep it consistent for at least a week at a time because I think that consistency can help you to create better habits and I'm all for that. I think there's really something to be said for that, but it's not always possible. It's not always realistic, but if you're intentional and you really take a look at how much time do I have, what are the things that I want to prioritize, what do I need, what, do, what does my body need, what does my mind need, what does my soul need this week, and it's not the same. It's not always the same, and that's okay. <clears throat> So in summary, at the beginning of the week, take a look at what's going on with your week, how busy are things going to be and how crazy are things going to be, how much time uh, are you going to have, how early are you willing to get up, and how much time do you have before you need to switch into family time, family mode. And then with that amount of time that you've got, prioritize what you need most this week. And above all else, Stay as consistent as you can in the sense that you have a morning routine every day, if possible. Um, I think that that should be possible most days. Maybe not every day, but most days it should be possible. Um, but, and stay flexible with what that looks like. So let me know down in the comments what are your musts for your morning routine. Um, and what does your morning routine look like? I love learning about routines and habits and, and all that sort of thing. Uh, so I'd love to have a conversation with you guys about that. Don't forget to hit subscribe so that you'll get notified when we upload our next video. We've got some really great content coming up and I look forward to talking to you guys. See ya.